Welcome to the 2014 Think Local First Business Expo. All the best of the Hudson Valley, all in one spot. And I am here with the man himself, Charlie North, President and CEO of Dutchess County Regional Chamber of Commerce. So, Charlie, this is a great event. Isn't this wonderful yeah. to be here in the center of the universe, the city of Poughkeepsie, the capital of the Hudson River Valley, to have this great expo right here is it's just great we've got the cream of the crop here and uh, we've gotten uh, so much cooperation from our friends at the city of poughkeepsie to provide free parking our friends at the poughkeepsie grand hotel to provide free parking there as well so uh, listen if you're not here you're missing out and even though the sun's not shining outside it's shining right here in the mid hudson civic center in the city of poughkeepsie and it absolutely is. I can attest to that. Charlie, you want to tell us what's new this year at the Business Expo? Sure. We have the Hudson Valley Food Court. So we have four different restaurants selling lunch at a very reasonable price. And it gives an opportunity for people to try Soul Dog, Mahoney's, right? Geno's. We have all the great places and, of course, Twins Barbecue. So, uh, listen, we've got it all. We do. We've got it all. Thank you so much, Charlie. And... Speaking of food, uh, my partner, Charlie Cronaccio, that's where he is right now at the food court. So we'll send it over to you, Charlie. Thanks, Donnie. You know, one of the great things about this year's Expo is they've got a food court with all kinds of great stuff. You've got Ice House here. And then if you come down this way, you've got gluten-free stuff. And then if you come down this way, you've got uh, Mahoney's. Mahoney's? Who doesn't like Mahoney's? And Gino's Pizzeria. So even if you wanted it delivered, you can get it delivered to your booth. Isn't that awesome? Let's go over here and talk to Mahoney's. Hey, how's everything going? Doing well. Yeah, has the expo been for you so far? It's doing very good. Waiting on the crowds just starting to pick up now. Everybody's coming in for lunch. So what kind of food do you have here? Because it smells delicious. We have a traditional Irish beef stew. I made it myself from cooking all morning. What is the signature dish at Mahoney's? Well, our signature dishes are Irish fare. It's Irish beef stew. We have shepherd's pie. We have our fish and chips, our bangers and mash. It's, and then we have, our, obviously, our, we're known for our burgers. We're a great family resting in the community. So yeah. all kids, everyone are welcome. Let, let's come down this way here because there's somebody here who I, I see that I know. Christina, hey, how, are how are you? Good. Talk to us on camera a little oh, bit. Okay. What you're doing here? Uh, we're here to uh, talk about rebuilding together and what we do throughout the community. As you know, we provide critical home repairs and accessibility modifications for Dutchess County homeowners to bring them back to a warm, safe, dry, and independent living environment. And now I'm here with Frank Costella, owner of Harmon and Costella Printing, but also, more importantly, in a couple of weeks, he'll be the, the new president and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce. So, Frank, uh, tell me, first of all, why is Harmon and Costella here today? Well, Harmon and Costella Printing has been a staple in our community since 1937. And being a family business, my family has always been entrenched in this community and always felt that the best thing to do is give back because the community has given us so much. So we're here at the Expo, not just as name recognition, but to give back to the community, let people know that we're here. And, you know, majority of our customers are not-for-profit organizations, so that's part of it too. So we'd like to give back to not-for-profits. The Chamber's a not-for-profit. They have a foundation. There's a lot of not-for-profits here that we support, and they support the community. And most people do know, but for those that don't know, um, in a couple of weeks you'll be the new president and CEO of the Dutchess County Regional Chamber of Commerce. So, Frank, tell me, what are your projections in, let's say, the next couple months? Well, in the next couple months, Mr. North will still be here with me. So beginning November 3rd, when I come into the chamber, we'll be working side by side for the first two months. He leaves officially January 1st. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a couple breakfasts together and several events together. We have um, uh, several scheduled luncheons with some elected officials and community leaders. And, you know, it'll be a slow transition and hopefully be able to allow me to get my footing. Thank you so much, Frank. Uh, looking forward to the, the coming years working with you. And we will send it back to you, Charlie, Frank, or Roger. Thank you, Donna. I am here with Alexander Putnam of IES, Integrated Enterprise Solutions. Now, Alex, you guys are an international networking company. I, why is it important to be here today and set up and, and talk to folks locally? 
Well, our, um, our focus here is really to provide IT services for local businesses as well as and bring some of our international experience to bear to do that. And we like to work with our customers on a strategic basis. So it's good to get to know some of the businesses here and to focus on what their needs are and to see how we can partner with them and help them to grow. Hey everybody, we're here at Capital Uniform and Linen Service. We're here with Anthony, and Anthony, tell us a little about what is it exactly you guys do. What we do is we rent uh, linens, uniforms, uh, floor mats, as you've seen behind me, to restaurants, automotive industry, uh, basically anybody in, in the area that could uh, use a uniform, linens, um, any chef's coats, anything to okay. that effect. So what type of uniforms do you have? What do we have over here? Uh, we got the, well, start here with the chef's coats. Okay, wait, wait, have, hold this. Come on, let's put them on, let's do it. There ready? we go. All Here right, go. he's going to put it on. Chef coat? That's pretty too complicated. That right there is, actually this is one that we rent down to West Point, is what the chefs at West Point wear. Uh -huh. Beautiful, uh -huh. right? Now my wife thinks I can cook, okay? <laughs> we got the chef's coats, the chef's pants, got an apron yep. here. Good. Uh, your, your standard polo shirts. Good. High visibility jacket right here, high good for uh, good. Right. industries such as Royal Carding we do. Royal Carding, good. This way when you're out in the early morning hours, inclement weather, oh, yeah. you're visible, you're seen. Oh, perfect, good, perfect. Good. And now I'm with Christine Harding of ServPro. So Christine, tell me a little bit about what you're doing here. Well, today we decided to be a part of this wonderful expo to just make sure we could inform the community and the local businesses around at what ServPro does. So many people know about us when in case of an emergency. You know, we are the company like it never even happened. Yeah. But more importantly, we're here for the community at any time. So if it's something that someone needs just as a carpet cleaning, a deep cleaning of a home, if somebody's moving out and they want to get their home in tip-top shape, we can do that for them. We do duct cleaning. We do so many things that people don't even realize that we do. So we're here today to kind of just inform the community on what it is that we can offer. Very nice. And is this your first time at the Business Expo? This is actually our second time here mm -hmm. at the Business Expo, and we find it to be a really worthwhile event to be a part of. Very nice. All right, so what happens if I spin that wheel? What's going to happen? If you spin the wheel, you could win a prize. I could win a prize? All right, yeah, let's see. So pick a color. All right, oh, green, green. Green, green, green. Come on, green. Come on, blue. Green, blue. green. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait for it. Oh, yeah. <gasps> no way. So, but do I get a booby prize? You're I'm still, still a winner. Yay! You can have a, winner. You can have a wonderful pen or a stylus. You can have a coffee, Thank a chapstick, you. anything that you'd like. All right. Uh, so, is it good? Is it good coffee? Well, it's wonderful coffee. How about that? What is your favorite flavor? This is French vanilla. French vanilla. Mm -hmm. So are you like a, are you like an eight coffee a day person or what? Oh, I'm um, a lot of cups a day, especially right? this machine. Is I'm trying to buy this machine for our bank. Are you? Why are you only trying? It's either do or well, don't do. You know I what I'm don't saying? make the big decisions in life, okay? <laughs> I, I don't believe that we for a second. We have the big voice to You're make You're an decisions. influencer. I know I you're know. an influencer. I can influence him. I see. Well, now we've got some competition going on, folks. Friendly competition. Friendly competition. Uh, the friendly Honda chair is a nice, huge office comfy chair, and you say that's the most comfortable. Oh, without a doubt, it is. Yes, sir. And Tom, you disagree. Listen, my friend Pat here is a little bit mistaken. The uh, the friendly Honda chair is nice, and it is it is semi comfortable. But the friendly Ford chair is much better. It's much more comfortable. There's a lot more room in there. You can fit easily three, four people in there. Uh, you can fall asleep in there. It's a terrific chair. Let's go check it out, Brian. Yeah. Ugh. Oh man! All right, so you got a six foot, two hundred and something guy kicking back and relaxing in the big old comfy chair, and this is the friendly Ford chair. Uh, I own a Ford, so maybe I'm already used to to a comfy chair like this. Let's go check out the other one. All right, Bry, we're still rolling. Ooh. Uh, uh. This one's comfy too. This one's got some uh, little mobility to it, a little rocking action. And now I'm here with Stacy Rogan of Moxie Social Media. Tell me a little bit about your company, Stacy. Um, Moxie Social Media, 
does social media marketing to small to medium-sized businesses here in the Hudson Valley. We have some nationwide clients. Tell me what one tip that you can give to business, what they should be doing as far as uh, social media. Well, social media is a lot more than just posting on Facebook. And the one thing they have to realize is that no one cares. They don't care about your Facebook. They don't care about your business. You have to talk about relevant, unique content that correlates to the community. If you are here in the Hudson Valley and you're a restaurant, you're serving people who, who live here in Hudson Valley, you want to talk about super hyper local things, the pumpkin festival, the balloon festival, things, the leaf peepers coming up from the city. You want them to stop at your restaurants to talk about the festivals going on and throw in a link to your Facebook or your website and they're going to come. All right, so now we're here with Michelle Barone of Think Social First. So Michelle, tell me a little bit, it's a new company. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. So basically what I do is handle social media sites for small business owners and medium-sized business as well. And we handle Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, anything you need on a social media platform. I would say try to get as much exposure as possible and learn it, get educated. I would say definitely education is half the battle when it comes to social media and then the other half is the actual implementation. So get educated on learning what to do and then take it from there and create a plan. Less sales posting and more content rich posting. So stop telling us all the time about your sales and tell us more um, tips, tricks, things that get us talking and get us engaging with you because that's really what everyone wants. They want to connect. Thanks, Donna. That's really interesting stuff about social media. So we have Aislinn here from Edible Arrangements. Aislinn, how do you guys use social media to your advantage? Well, one of the best parts of our products is making people happy and smile and sharing their occasions with them. So I think for us, the best way to use social media is always to, to share the moments, to share the, that sure. recipient moment when they are experience in getting the edible arrangement or a lot of times we do work with children so to see their faces when they're learning about the fruit or working with the fruit those are the ways we try to use it connecting the the memories of the products with our our audience well, I think you said the word the word is experience because this is like unbelievable this isn't flowers yeah. so talk to me because I'm like ready to just start munching down on stuff here so <laughs> what do we have let's go through come on come um, close to me come close <laughs> what do we got here this is really good stuff okay so we got chocolate dipped pineapple okay chocolate dipped pineapple some chocolate dipped apples, apples. Some chocolate dipped strawberries Cho those are chocolate Dip strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any idea how popular? Make me with my wife. Any idea? Those are the most popular. Probably okay. second most. Those are not marshmallows. Those no? are chocolate dip bananas. Chocolate dip bananas. Yes. Oh chocolate dip bananas God. in white and dark. Yeah. Uh, Semi-sweet chocolate. Yeah, it's a wonderful. Yeah. That's the second most popular. Okay. Um, but yeah, it is an experience. It's very social. When you bring an edible arrangement into a party atmosphere or a group setting, it bro it promotes and it provokes popular like conversation. Lots of topics come up. But like, when somebody orders orders this, do you do you guys arrange everything? Do, do, does a person get to say, I want more strawberries than this, I want more chocolate than that? How does that work? When you call the store locally, we will work with you on a custom okay. order. But the primary point of edible arrangements is what you see from us should be exactly what you get from another store. So quality okay. matters. Yep. And we don't like to manipulate the quality, but we will work with you. So if your wife has a personal favorite, we will add a few extras in. Okay, we cool. love to customize for your particular recipient. So what was, how has the, this Chamber Expo been for you? Have you guys done this before, your first year? What's it been like? Yeah, this is my ninth year here. Wow. Um, we're going into our 10th year in business. And I have to say, I think the Chamber has been a big hit as to why we made it so successful in the first few years. Mm -hmm. These events allow us to put live products out. People can see um, the actual products instead of just the catalog. And it allows us to have that connection and talk and answer questions. So. It's priceless. What it offers us, it's really, it's a great opportunity. And it's been a great show this year. So that about does it at the 2014 Think Local First Business Expo. A great time was had by all, and pretty much the best of the Hudson Valley was represented here today. Uh, news team, first impressions? I got to admit, the energy level in this place was fantastic today. But I got to admit, my favorite part of the day was doing the Friendly Honda Comfy Chair Challenge. And Friendly Ford won out with the most comfy chair. 
Interesting, interesting. All right, Frank, how about you? Donna, anything that gets Roger excited gets me excited. That doesn't happen very often, you know what I'm saying? I know. But I think this is really good because I think having it back at the Civic Center was exciting for everybody here. So many people said that they wanted it back and the constant flow all day. A lot of people were great for vendors to be part of the chamber. So it was exciting to be here. I was really happy to see it. All right, and how about you, Charlie? I think the food was great. Oh, sure, I bought you two sandwiches. He owes me two I'm sandwiches. I'm still waiting for it. No, the food, the food was really good. It was a great concept because they had comfort food uh, during, you know, throughout a stretch of one of the aisles, and that really kind of, I thought, made it a little bit more interesting. Typically, at these events, you don't have that kind of uh, array of food or choices of food. So that was good. It was great exposure for those vendors to be able to get their product out to let people know what they do. But I also thought there was a consistency of traffic throughout the event, throughout the course of the event. Sometimes with these chamber events and expos, there's a, a, a wave of people and then it dies down and then there's another wave and it was pretty consistent throughout and I think that was a good sign of how successful this was. So you heard it here, a great day was had by you all, so from everyone here at HVNN.com, thanks for watching and we'll see you online.